We're celebrating the best of England to mark St George's Day. And what's more English than a classic fried breakfast? Hallelujah. <laughs> John Tarot's opened up his own greasy spoon. I have to say, I've cooked a few breakfasts in my time and I got a, I, it's still my favourite meal of the day. I love it. But I think there's got, to be, there's got to be bits to it, doesn't yeah. there? Yeah. And totally. the thing is about soft and crispy and hot and sort of cold, a little bit of spicy because there's sauce. There's going to be a runny yolk with your egg, crispy yes. edges around your egg and all those things that go with it. And although it sounds really easy, I think there's, we get ourselves in a bit of a kerfuffle. It's timing, isn't it? It's all, it's all about, about timing. timing. All about, all about timing, timing. Dermot. So, first and foremost, what I've done is I've put some sausage patties on, which I'll show you how to make in a minute, and I'm going to put some... Put some bacon on as well. Oh, you're because right. got... Not grilling it. Not grilling it. No, no. Well, I don't really have time. I've been given four minutes to do breakfast for all of you already. So a four-minute breakfast in the is one of those things which is quite fast. Would you normally fry or grill? Because I never know the best. What's that? Would you normally fry or grill bacon? I would just put it straight in a pan with no oil. So I'm using the same pan as I would the, um, the sausage patties. They just work exactly the same way. I find if I fry it, sometimes I don't get the fat crispy enough. Oh. Well, the, the, the sort of fat melts itself anyway, so it doesn't really, you don't really need to worry about it. I want it to be crispy, so sometimes I yeah, think that, I can burn it. Well, they're going to take a lot longer for it to be crispy. You need to bunch it all up oh, okay. and make that. Thanks. The sausage patties, all I've done is taken the sausage apart, taken the skin off it, and then taken it as a ball like this, and you put it between two bits of paper. Such a good idea. And you squeeze it to make... A little burger thing. That's so oh, good. wow. And then that way you get a sausage patty. I've had that kind of thing in Scotland sometimes. They, they serve that, like a square sausage yeah. in Scotland, yeah. don't yeah. they? And the golden, golden arches. And the golden arches. Don't golden forget arches. those guys. When you go there, you get one of those flat ones. Oh, yeah, they're really they're good. They're great. Now, the Can sausage start patties it, now, as they're cooking, are going to go on top of the bacon because we've got some eggs on. And um, we're going to put a couple of eggs in the pan with the juices from the bacon and the sausage patty because that's where all the flavour is. So you get a nice crispy egg around the outside and you get all the flavour. In a griddle pan, on a griddle pan, I've got some tomatoes. You're right there, what have you done? Oh, no, but I just dropped a little bit of egg. Oh, that's OK. Not we like a bit of egg down the <laughs> it went, top. It went into... Uh, nothing to see here. It went, <laughs> went into the to make believe. <laughs> <laughs> in a griddle pan, I've just put some tomatoes. Cut your tomatoes in half, a little bit of salt on them first, and they'll cook a lot quicker. The salt just helps them to break down. Okay. On a tray in the oven, I've got some hash browns and some mushrooms. Mm. Take a mushroom, a big flat mushroom like yeah. this, the tiniest amount of oil across the top, just a little bit, and then you sprinkle it with salt and a little bit of pepper. And you put those in the oven with the hash browns mm. for about 15 minutes, and the mushrooms will cook. You don't have to worry about them. Just let them go and they will be absolutely beautiful. So they go in the oven and they come out perfectly cooked. Right. Oh, wow. delicious. So we've got ourselves, now we've got crispy, as we wanted before, we talked about that. Crispy hash browns and mushrooms. Eggs are frying, tomatoes are on. Of course, baked beans in a pot. Everybody likes a baked bean, except for me. Oh, you don't, don't like, like baked beans? I don't like baked beans. Do you I like just, tomatoes? I like tomatoes. Yeah. I like. I was a kid. I grew up on tinned spaghetti, not on baked beans. Oh, I like spaghetti. My well. brother liked the baked beans. I like the spaghetti. Yeah, me too. But oh, this is how God. quick your eggs cooked. I mean, that those eggs have actually taken literally about a minute and a half, which is good because we have to do this quite quickly. Then take a plate, and we now look at all the bits we've got: hash browns, mushrooms, beans, eggs, sausages, bacon, tomatoes, all ready to go. A couple of baps in here. And we Isn't take the mat. day ever. And we go bottom first. Some hash browns on our on our plate to go there. A couple of mushrooms so it looks quite nice. <laughs> there. I oh, look. I've got Jerusalem as well, which is really oh. nice. <laughs> Some tomatoes which go onto the plate. We take a sausage patty. Look at the size of these plates. Oh. So big in a plate. Sausage yeah. patty onto our there. We take our bacon across the top. I've literally got 20 seconds to get this all on a plate. And then a fried egg. Look at it. Look Perfect. At that. We take that. We put our baked beans next to it because we don't have a bowl to put it in. We take a bit of tomato sauce. We take a top for our bat. And we got ourselves breakfast at yeah. John's Greasy Spoon. Oh, Ta-da! That was fantastic.
and it's absolutely it's gorgeous, delicious. Isn't it? I and can listen, confirm. Nothing it's says St George's Day like an Australian and Jamaican and an Irish. <laughs> <laughs> All having an English breakfast in a television studio. Thank you. The best day thanks, ever. Thanks, Sean. That sausages off the scale. Well, listen. Thanks, Sean. Thank for all those recipe details, just go on this morning app.